Yo guys, what is going on? Bubbles here. So today I have for you all of the info about the new version 9.10 content update. This one is a bit of a small one. There's no bug fixes, which is really strange because there are so many bugs in the game at the moment, such as one of them being the fact that your redeploy doesn't redeploy, which is really super annoying. But yeah, we do actually have a new weapon and we do indeed have a vaulted weapon. So let's get straight into the content update details. First thing, like always, I want to show you guys is actually the limited time mode rotation. So the first one being the solid gold duos, and then the next one will be unbolted squads, and the other one will be close encounter squads. So these are three LTMs that we should be seeing on rotate through the next week. Honestly, these ones are basically the exact same as last week's ones that we've just had. So yeah, nothing really too much to say about that. But it's more so just to inform you guys that those will be the LTMs if you do play LTMs. Now, new weapon. Here we go. The Burst SMG. This one I am super excited about. I always loved the Burst Famas. Uh, what was it? Just the Burst Rifle in the game. And now they've got a Burst SMG. So I'm going to be really interested to see how this performs. I'm going to be streaming later for hours in which I'll be trying this new Burst SMG. But let's have a look for a moment about the actual damage and everything. The stats of this gun. So it's available in common, uncommon, and rare. That's pretty interesting. And I'm hoping that means that then in the epic and legendary variant, there should be another burst SMG in place, obviously, to finish off the full set of bursts. Hopefully that will happen. Fire rates fires a quick four-round burst. That's interesting. Deals 23, 24, and 25 damage. Very nice. So if you're hitting your shots, it's going to be a good weapon. Uh, 1.75 times headshot multiplier, that's pretty average, I'm happy to see that. 24 rounds per magazine, that one's pretty cool. So you got 6 bursts obviously per clip, so that's pretty nice. It doesn't seem too overpowered and it doesn't seem too weak at the moment. And it can be found from floor loot, chests and vendor machines. So hopefully this one will be a nice easy weapon to find, it won't be too complicated. Sort of like how the tactical assault rifle, how that one kind of spawns in, the blue variant is quite common. And uh, yeah, this one is even in common and uncommon variants, so it's going to be nice to find this one then. And it uses light ammo, like all SMGs, so that's pretty cool. Now, this one, oh my gosh, surprise, I was not expecting this. Vaulted the suppressed submachine gun. So it vaulted the common, the uncommon, and the rare. So does that mean that there's no submachine gun in the game except for the burst SMG now? And obviously the drum gun. But the drum gun's kind of an AR. That is interesting. I think the game is definitely trying to become more of a long range thing and less close quarters, i.e. obviously the new shotgun is really great at range. The drum gun's there and th there's no SMG, which is crazy, which means, yeah, it kind of feels like the game's trying to push you to be a bit more further out rather than all these close counter ones. So yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to be interesting to say the least. Um, but yeah, let's move on. Team Rumble now spawning four hotspots each match to ensure that there is at least one on each side more often. This is a temporary fix until we can set up functionality to force the same number on each side in big team modes. That's pretty cool. I'm happy about that. I've been playing Team Rumble actually quite a bit lately. It's a great way to get easy XP in my opinion. You jump into a couple of solos and you don't really do much and you get 800 XP whereas 15 minutes of Team Rumble and you get 1,500. So, I mean, Team Rumble isn't actually that bad and it's a great way to warm up. But yeah, that's interesting. That will be nice to actually try out. Now, we got a couple of updates in creative mode. So what's new? New ground floors. Alter your creation's flooring to capture the correct atmosphere. That's pretty nice. And then mine thing, create your own Minecraft to explore. I like that as well. I always love that in actually Minecraft. <laughs> so it's pretty interesting to see that in Fortnite. Now, obviously as well, the Burst SMG has been added into creative. And there's been a few things added. I'm going to chuck it on the screen now. I don't really do creative much except for trying out your guys' maps. And yeah, I don't really know anything of what this is talking about. So I'm going to throw it on the screen. You can read it. You can pause the video if you wish. Uh, but that's going to be that. Now, uh, I've been recording for five minutes, and unfortunately, that's all I've got for you guys about this update. It's it's pretty disappointing. I don't know why there's no bug fixes like I was saying earlier, but that is literally everything in the 9.10 update. For you guys that have stuck to the end, I'm going to play a clip now of the new Burst SMG if you are interested in seeing it. This is from Fortnite themselves, so it's, it's not my trashy gameplay, don't worry. It is official.
But yeah, obviously, if you have enjoyed this uh, sweet and short video, leave a like and subscribe to me for more Fortnite content. Like I said earlier, I'm going to be streaming ages and ages later on tonight this new best smg so if you want to come and join me and play alongside me then obviously subscribe and turn on the notifications to not miss out on the stream use creative code bobbles in the fortnite i'm sure to help support me but anyway until next time guys see ya